So today I'm doing an EDC update. If you're not familiar with these videos, EDC stands for Everyday Carry. Uh, basically talking about all the gear and stuff that I carry every day. Uh, everyone has an EDC, you just might not think of it in those terms, but pretty much everyone has a wallet or some way to carry their cash and or credit cards. Uh, most people have a phone or tablet or something similar. A pocket computer, if you will. And if you have a car, you probably have keys, right? But a lot of people don't carry all the extra stuff that I carry. Is it necessary? No. Is it useful? Occasionally it is. Some things, like the gun, never get used, but I'm glad I have it. So we're going to get right into it. Uh, talking about simple things like wallet and phone, we're going to start there. Uh, the phone is an iPhone 5S. Uh, if you follow the videos, you know these basic things. But the last time I did an EDC update, I showed you that I got a uh, Apple branded leather case, which is a lot slimmer, all right? I'm used to like that, you know, big fat otter box. Uh, I'm actually really used to the thin leather case now. Uh, at first I was a little worried because it's less grippy, it's thinner, it's obviously smooth. I was worried about dropping my phone, but knock on wood. Uh, since I've gotten the case, I have yet to drop it. Anyway, um, I was disappointed when I first got the case because of the color. I thought I was buying more of a natural brown, which the wallet was originally, and I was worried that if it darkened up, it wouldn't look quite the same as wallet, as well as this, but they're all close. They're all very dark leather now. All right, so natural you know, oils and stuff in my hand has colored the phone case quite well. So I'm happy with that. As far as the wallet, talked about this a million times, same wallet for the last few years now. This is a Saddleback leather trifold with the strap. Um, when I first got this wallet, I got it as a gift from my wife. Um, she got it for me for Christmas. And I was worried, I mean, I like the, the wallet and everything, but I was worried about this strap just over time cracking and breaking off. And you can see, I mean, years of usage now, and it, it's kind of in this permanent position uh, with the wallet closed, but there's no cracking or anything. It's just natural wear, but it's still just as strong as the day I got it. Um, you know, taking the wallet out and taking the strap on and off and stuff, it's a little bit of a pain, but I do love the way, uh, you know, the way it looks, the way it carries. I've gotten tons of compliments on the wallet. It is quite fat. I know a lot of you guys, uh, especially if you're watching an EDC update or an EDC video, you're probably into the minimal type stuff. You got the super thin wallet, or maybe you just have, you know, who knows, a, a money clip with some bills in there. But I happen to love it, and it's still working out great for me. Continuing with the leather theme, uh, still rocking every single day since I've got this thing, the pocket organizer, let's call it. This is a hitch and timber, all right, the 2.0, I believe. And same thing, it's just colored up from, you know, naturally handling it, the oils in your hands, just darken that leather. It's super shiny, you know, polished from taking it in and out of the pocket. I actually use this all the time. It, it just like knives or flashlights or whatever, once you start carrying that particular type of gear, you find yourself using it more and more, and then you wonder, what did I do before? Because there's plenty of people out there that do not carry a lighter every day, or a flashlight, or a pen, yet somehow you get through society. <laughs> you know what I mean? As far as the pen, I was just talking to uh, a friend, and uh, I was telling him that I use my pen way more than I thought I would. Uh, there is a pocket in the back, but I have yet to put anything in it. I do like the, the way that this forms to these uh, two tools. Obviously, this is separate from the leather here. Uh, I can utilize the back pocket. It just would make the whole thing a lot thicker, so I have not. All right, and obviously, it's molded to these tools perfectly. So, a quick recap on these tools. This is a Vector Summit. Okay, this has an on-off switch for the gas. So, once you turn the gas on, then you can go ahead and spark the wheel on top. We have a single torch flame, and then you can just shut it off. I did get a lot of crap on uh, how stupid this lighter is. Guess what? It's worked awesome. It holds fuel for a very long time. I've never had an issue with it accidentally turning on. All right, so I do quite like it. All right, and this uh, part being so round and wide here, it kind of form fit. So there's pressure built up here. It almost snaps in kind of like a Kydex sheath. As far as flashlight, still have the same through night TIE 5T. Titanium, single AAA light. Works very well, very simple. And then the pen is a Fisher Space Pen, uh, although I think the last time I talked about it, it was the stainless one with the you know different uh, texturing on there, which I didn't like that much, and ended up uh, getting this brass one, okay? And it's actually pretty interesting because I use this pen way more than I ever thought I would use a pen. Simple things, just like if you happen to use a, a credit card or debit card, you know, when you're signing for it, um, I always have my own pen. Uh, there's probably been maybe two or three occasions where I actually needed my own pen because one wasn't available. Most times there is a pen available, but I don't know, it feels a little snazzy breaking out your own. So anyway, these three tools are with me every single day. I love this setup so much, I am very much considering getting another 
uh, hitch and timber, just a different setup so I can carry maybe a second set, maybe slightly different tools, you know, once in a while, maybe I want to swap them out or something. But I just absolutely love this. Like I said, the day that I got it, it has not left my pocket. Every day, everywhere, always have it. Next is a power cord bracelet. All right, got this from my buddy Corey. This is a cancer awareness ribbon, the uh, bright green one here. Don't always rock a bracelet, but when I do, this is the one I go for. Now, if you didn't already notice, there's no watch on the table. A watch is something I usually wear, although this summer I found myself not wearing it very much. I've been a lot more active, uh, doing sports with Christina, playing basketball, we have a couple tennis rackets. Uh, throwing a frisbee, simple things like that. Um, the bracelet's not a big deal because it flexes, but the watch, I mean, I have a couple different watches, but I, I tend to like my uh, the Maritac Pilot's watch. But having any watch, no matter how big or small, just, you know, it, it has a little limitation in bending your wrist and stuff. So I just find myself not wearing it as much, at least in the summer. Uh, as the cooler months come in and I'm a little less active, I'll probably go back to wearing a watch. All right, quick discussion on the firearm. This is a kel P3AT. You guys are probably well aware of it. I've had the same very cheap Ace holster forever. You can see it's totally molded to it. Um, I do have, of course, the Gen 3 Glock 19, if you haven't seen past videos. I love the gun. I actually rely my life on that Glock, and I also obviously rely my life on this pistol. But I do prefer the Glock, but I found myself, again, because of the summer, because it's been a hotter summer, uh, because of the clothing I'm wearing, I'm finding that I have carried this particular firearm more than I have the Glock, just because of the lightweight and convenience. It's just small, it's very easy to carry, particularly in this inside the waistband holster. It weighs nothing. I can wear uh, you know, basketball shorts with no belt and still carry this gun. So I wanna say it's probably a little bit more than half the time I'll gravitate towards this, you know, being that it is a warmer summer and being active as opposed to going with the Glock. Of course, everyone's gonna have a different opinion on things, but you guys know I always keep it real and I will trade just a tiny bit of confidence. I still very much trust this gun in working when I need it to, but I can trade off just that tiny bit of confidence to actually have a gun with me everywhere I go. With, of course, the only exceptions being where it is illegal to carry. I do believe there should be constitutional carry every single place in the United States. You can agree with that or disagree with that. We'll see what happens in the future, but as of right now, I still do abide by all laws. I think it's very important. So as much as I hate it, when I do travel to Connecticut or New York or New Jersey, I have to unfortunately leave the firearm home or I have to travel with it legally, which is not on my person and not ready to go. So moving on to the keys here. You guys uh, probably saw a lot of the same stuff the last time I did a video. Uh, I will give you a quick update on this knife. This is the Pangea knife. Uh, this thing works awesome as the pocket clip. I told you that I used to have a pocket clip on here. Took that off because it was unnecessary to have two uh, because this is a friction folder, but it extends out. I hook this onto the belt loop on my pants so I can hold the keys outside my pants to leave room in my pocket for all this other stuff. And it has worked awesome. It's actually a lot easier to use than the other clip. And I have the bonus of having an extra blade on the keys if needed. Also an update on this night eyes. All right. Um, this does actually stay locked. All right. Throw my keys around. been using it. You know, at least a few weeks now, if not, probably more than a month. Uh, and everything's nice and tight. It hasn't unlocked on me, and the knife hasn't fallen off or anything. So, very, very cool. Uh, as far as the other stuff, I keep uh, some uh, Motrin in here, just in case I get a random headache. You can see a handcuff key in here. Uh, be careful, depending on where you live. You may or may not be able to carry a handcuff key. Uh, this goes to a lockbox. It's in my car. Again, when I'm traveling uh, with a firearm, I have to lock that up occasionally. Uh, flashlight, I went back to a through night. You know, car keys, stuff like that. All right, let's talk about this because I know some of you guys are staring at it. <laughs> this is the uh, the Thyrum Zippo case. So this is basically a waterproof, weather, you know, weatherproof um, case that houses a Zippo insert. Or, of course, you can get an aftermarket butane insert that's Zippo shaped. So this pops open. All right, and we have a Zippo insert. Works just like a Zippo. Only instead of the traditional metal case, it's this plastic case. You can see there is an O-ring, or at least a seal, a rubber seal that goes around here. All right, I can tell you from testing right away, uh, as a spoiler, so if you don't want spoiler alerts, you might want to skip over this part, it does hold fuel longer than a regular Zippo, which should be no surprise since it does actually seal. All right, but I don't like it. And we'll go over those reasons, of course, when I do that video. But that's been my lighter option. I haven't carried it every single day, but I'd say maybe two or three days out of the week, I do just throw that in the pocket. So as far as knives, uh, I've carried this just a handful of times since I got it, but I did throw it in there because I was carrying it today. This is the Tiffany's version of a SAC Classic. All right, so Tiffany's, obviously the jewelry 
a store or company, Tiffany & Co. So this has our silver scales. You guys know I'm obsessed with silver. Uh, so it's extra cool, but it's also extra heavy. Uh, when I do a video on this, I'll give you a weight on it, but it is chunky. Uh, but it's just a regular sack classic. A couple tools in here. Of course, we have the scissors. All right, we have the little pen blade. We have the combination um, nail file as well as nail cleaner. And this does work to clean your nails. All right, should keep your nails clean, guys. Um, and then, of course, there's the, uh, the toothpick and the tweezers. The tweezers actually come in handy, but I will tell you right now, I've never used a toothpick as a toothpick. Reason being, I don't know where that thing's been. Could have been in 10 different mounts for all I know. Uh, but who knows, if you ever need a soft plastic little pick, it's in there. It's not hurting anything. Uh, but yeah, I usually use regular, you know, wooden toothpicks at home. So yeah, SAC Classic. It is a classic, but very cool upgrade with those silver scales. Now I have still been carrying the Gerber Dime. It's a cool little multi-tool. Uh, this is the Stat Gear uh, sheath for it, or holster. Uh, as some people point out, of course, when I did the video, I have this as on carabiner, which I put on the front left side of me. Um, and it's just always there. It's, it's pretty convenient. I've actually used it a few times since carrying it. Um, but because this integrates this bottle opener here that has an enclosed space and, hello, there's actually a key ring here, it is really unnecessary to have any kind of a sheath or holster for it. All right, this night eyes can clearly go right on the tool itself. Okay, either here, which I would comfortably have it, or you could put it on the actual little key ring as well. All right, so totally unnecessary, but I still think it's cool. And by the way, this does uh, hold a couple different multi-tools. I have other in Micra in here as well, which I carried a couple times besides the Gerber Dime. All right, so on to the knives here. I have a PNP Revenge. I believe I did show this before. All right, M390, it's a frame lock. It's a very cool knife. Uh, I will do a review on this fairly soon because I have carried enough for that. Uh, it's a higher end knife, but it's pretty cool, honestly. I mean, if you like the design, Totally worth it, as a spoiler. But there is something I do not like about this knife. You guys can let me know if you can guess. Uh, I actually hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it enough to say that the knife's bad. I love everything about this knife, except for this one thing. Any guesses? Right down in the comment section. But yeah, so you'll see a review on this in the future. And of course, I have a CRKT um, home front. This is the original home front. There's a couple different versions of them now. They, I think they even call them something different, different blade shapes and stuff. Um, I just love this knife. I gravitated back towards this again. I think I talked about this maybe in the last EDC update, uh, but I had one in the collection because it was such a unique design, so I didn't really want to use it. And then I got another one in a trade, and now I do carry and use it. Uh, I have carried a bunch of other knives. You guys are going to see other reviews on, particularly some of those throwback knives. All right, so this hasn't been like a, a daily knife or anything, but it's just something I keep gravitating back towards just because I like it so much. And then lastly, well, second to last, I didn't mention it, but I do have a spare mag for the pistol. All right, so having a spare mag would be important. That's a 380. But anyway, moving on to the knife here, the Tops neck knife. All right, this is the 2.5 or MSK 2.5, I should say. Now, I just did the Battle Box video and showed you guys the other one. It is a different version of the same knife. All right, I talked about maybe being like a second gen or something, but people point out that it was like a Battle Box version of it. That's all that is. Uh, there's actually, I think, even a third version of it. Um, but yeah, very interesting knife. Not going to give too much away here because I will do a review on this for sure. So, this is a knife I took camping. Had a really, uh, really good time with it and definitely got a lot of usage, you know, doing some camp chores and stuff. So, uh, pretty interesting. Definitely have some thoughts on that, which you guys will see in the future. So, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Obviously, there are other knives and gear you haven't seen. It's been a while since I did my last update. It's got to be at least a month or so. Uh, let me know. If you want to see more of these EDC updates, I can do them more frequently. I don't think I'm going to do them weekly or anything, but maybe I can do them bi-weekly. You know, get two or three done a month or something. If you're, if you're really interested in it, give me the feedback because I haven't done these in a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, things are constantly changing. Realistically, there's probably 15 different knives that I've used on and off all month, all right? And then previous to that, there was more knives. Uh, so, I mean, if you want to see these more frequently so you can see the different gear, just let me know. But either way, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let me know down below if there's anything new in your EDC, whether you like it or not. I'd love to hear about it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.